Hello, so I have installed Nano Linux and this is based on Tiny Core Linux and this is using Core Pure which is one of the uh, distros for Tiny Core and this is an 18 megabyte image file so it is a very lightweight system uh, I have tested this before but I haven't really done a video on it I think I just maybe took a screenshot one time so this is a Atom processor uh, single core dual threaded N450 from 2011 and it's got a gigabyte of RAM and it's using only like 34 megabytes active and about 12 inactive so it's only using about 50 megabytes less than 50 megabytes of RAM maybe a little more here uh, there's there is swap space apparently but it is loading it from a 4 gigabyte SD card um, but it is loaded all into RAM and it's a very fast very fast operating system it only uses about um, I mean for an 18 megabyte file you can really run anything um, you don't even need like a, a gigabyte secure digital to to run a live CD or USB so um, you can even do something like paint uh, and I mean all the applications are pre-installed they run really really fast so has an IRC uh, most of these probably don't load but yeah a lot of these probably don't Well, the Ethernet is plugged in, but I don't know if it's just not loading or not. Huh, I guess this works. I doubt that'll work. And... So having loaded all that, you can check how much memory is being used. And it's only using a couple megabytes more than before. So runs pretty fast here for a 18 megabyte file. I'm sure I could probably get other stuff here to run. And the reason it's using uh, 800 and 600 resolution is because it doesn't really recognize the native format and it doesn't support it so I did have to oh, uh, I powered it down by accident but I was planning on just restarting it and I'll show the boot up process so there are certain drivers video modes that don't work like 32-bit so I tried to use the 800 by 600 
and that didn't work. But if you press enter, you can select more options. So even this one didn't seem to work initially because the colors were a little distorted. But at least with this boot up, you can get to you can get to that video selection screen, especially if you only have like a really old 800 or 640 by 480. But this is a 1024 by 600, so it's really the only way to get it to run. Uh, obviously, it's a nice screensaver, but or wallpaper, but uh, there, no real ch way to change that other other than showing the. So quite a bit of information here. It'll provide all the hardware information, Nano Linux, and this hasn't been updated in almost 10 years, but it was a very good experimental operating system for something that's, yeah, 18 megabytes SDB, Core Pure boot, really tiny. Calculator. I'm not sure what the video is like, but it looks like you can stream. I don't know if the sound works. I must have turned the screen off by accident. Never mind. Settings, keyboard. Yep, must have pressed something here. Don't know what happened there. Guess I could restart it. Power it off and back in. Maybe I could show the video selection menu. It's number eight if you get to the screen because the uh, number seven or number nine was like 32 bit, so I chose a 16 bit mode. So to select screen resolution to boot or tab to edit, so I press tab, but then it, yeah, so if you press enter, you can select several options. Now, obviously the small ones are a little too small, under 7, but if you choose something like 640 by 480, I suppose that wouldn't be a bad idea, because that way you won't have anything left over, but it still kind of um, leaves a little too much over to have to scroll, and I could try 640 by 480, but let me try number 7 and see what happens. Definitely don't need to run it that small, but oh, sorry about the autofocus there. Hopefully that helps. But yeah, it doesn't take very long to load at all. So, yeah, in fact, what that does is it makes the scroll even larger, and I don't think I want to do that. But it would be nice to be able to change all that in the application, and there probably is somewhere, maybe, okay, read me. FLTK is the window manager. Maybe I missed something, but yeah, let me try loading it again. Ooh. Oh, 
wait a bit of and these are only one click applications so the icons are not very system keyword yeah very bare bone system I just wanted to try one other system here be nice to select uh, 10 1024 but I mean you could also output it to a VGA port but in this netbook does have one of those but I will I guess I'll try another one here 800 by 600 let me try B. That's 8-bit mode. Not really sure how much lower quality than 16 or 32, but... Yeah, there was kind of a garbled video color with the 32-bit mode, at least on the 800. So I couldn't try that. Yeah, this is exactly what I had uh, the other time. It just all like inverted colors or something. Yep, not really sure what happened there. So you kind of have to go with like number 7 or something that doesn't cause that issue. But, like, something like this could definitely run on, on a 64 megabyte single board computer because it uses so little RAM. So, um, if I try this one, it's going to show a error because it doesn't handle that kind of resolution. So, undefined, enter space to continue well let's see what happens I guess it's still trying to go through that's odd I never really tried that unsupported uh, yeah so it'll just go and count to 10 and then it'll restart well you have to restart yourself but I just control alternate and delete. <laughs> so I'm going to just try this one and Sorry about the blurriness. Yep, so you can just use that and... Overall, uh, very blazing fast. If you could install a different browser, you'd have a pretty capable one, but even this one is... I guess I could try something like BBC... Yeah, I don't think that'll work, but 
Let's see what else I can load. like it's able to load some stuff. hasn't been updated in a while. There's several websites that still work here. All right, so uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful, and looks like the radio and sound works. It was just uh, the station that wasn't working. Uh, I, I don't know if it just froze, but it looks like it's not able to click, but that's okay, I can just Try closing it out. Uh, well, that's still working, so hasn't totally frozen, but and a PPM file. I would like to check out what that is. Oh, looks like you can load games here too. Okay, now it did totally freeze. Uh, it could just be that it's, I don't know, trying to stream or... Uh, so, definitely a little more buggy than expected. But overall, the performance is pretty optimal for uh, 50 megabytes of RAM. So, definitely interesting. I think the Slataz is a little bit more polished even though it's um, more on a rolling release but uh, so it's very similar to that uh, uh, but a slightly different quite a bit of a different distribution um, so I have another video on that one but I am going to try to make another video on minimal Linux which doesn't have a, a GUI built in but uh, that runs on something like 10 to 40 megabytes of RAM. So I did post that in my repository. And thank you for watching.